Hello, my name is Thomas Helmstein. I'm the marketing manager for Safety Components. Uh, I'm happy to highlight the 440C CR30 and our latest and greatest enhancement to it. Uh, we actually launched this product beginning of the year 2014. Uh, it has 22 safety IOs. Uh, we also have an embedded serial port for uh, diagnostics communication over Modbus to uh, send your information to your superior control. Uh, it also supports standard I.O. plugins. Uh, and with uh, the release 7 of Connected Components Workbench, we have added more plugins to the device. It is, very, it is a very efficient way to use the standard I.O. plugins for signals like reset, feedback, and muting sensors so that your safety I.O.s all stay available uh, for your safety function. Uh, we are also going to launch a Ethernet pl IP plugin device uh, in the first quarter of next year that allows you to talk uh, very nicely to uh, our Logix controllers. Uh, it will be supported by an anon profile um, to set up the configuration of your net network IOs, but also to configure the CR30. But let me show more in the Connected Components Workbench about the software configuration. Okay, here we are. This is uh, Connected Components Workbench. This is a software tool that configures the CR30. So CR30 is a configurable relay. Uh, we have in mind that this targets application where you have four um, to like eight safety circuits in like two to three zones. Um, the connected components workbench uh, comes with a complete set of uh, safety configuration editor, uh, some predefined function blocks uh, we have added here uh, in this toolbox. Um, the idea was to make safety configuration as simple as putting safety relay modules together. Um, What's new in R7? So in release 7, um, we have come up with some really nice features to improve the usability of the uh, product, uh, of the software. So one is you can assign user-defined descriptive names to your function blocks so that your drawings and documentation is more consistent with your configuration. Um, these names are also part of your um, automatic report feature. Uh, the report documents the safety configuration of the CR30 uh, it should be part of your safety-related machine documentation um, and you can use it to prove the, you followed the validation and verification process. Uh, what is also new, we have introduced a password feature to the CR30. You can actually lock the whole configuration and prevent anybody um, to manipulate your configuration without using the password. Um, last but not least, we also have a memory module support. Uh, this memory module support uh, allows you to backup and restore uh, your safety configuration from one CR30 to the other uh, or to just go back to a previous configuration when you're replacing a product. 